The new Fire OS version 21 update brings some fresh new features you will love. Let's explore. Starting off, we have new options while taking screenshot. First is OCR or Optical Character Recognition. So press the print key to enter screenshot mode. Now select the manual option. Now select the text you want to copy. Use it with an image cause you can already copy paste text. Now after you select the area, you will see the copy text options. Now you can paste it on any text area or text box. We also get circle to search or in this case a rectangle to search. So you can directly access it from the search bar or use the screenshot window and select the manual mode like before. It works quite well and is also extremely helpful. However, remember when installing the new version, choose the Google sign-in method instead of the usual local account. Otherwise, the circle to search feature won't show up and work. Additionally, like always after a fresh install, you need to go to the FireOS store and install the GFs program. Then install the GFs package from here. However, this time I got an error asking to disable the signature verification. It's a pretty easy workaround. First, press Windows plus Shift plus T to open the terminal. But before that, go to the settings and then in FideOS settings, enable the developer options and restart your system. Now again open the terminal and type shell. Then paste this command and finally the one we need. You will find these in the description. Then after restart your system once again. Now you can proceed to install the GFs packages without issues. You will see the Google Play Store icon in the taskbar. Make sure to go to the settings and click update for the latest Play Store version. So we got the FireOS AI update in last version. If you didn't know, it's pretty next level. We have by default options for more than 100 AI agents ready to assist us in every possible way, from learning language to coding and whatnot. We also get access to 13 AI language models from the settings. I think it makes it a very reliable AI assistant. There's also the FireOS Notes app, which is pretty advanced as well. It has AI integrated to help writing with 15 plus different settings, which is pretty good. And the new update added another helpful shortcut. You can press Windows key plus F to open the insert menu. If you select text and then press this shortcut, then you can change the letters case from lowercase to uppercase and vice versa. And in general, you can add emojis, GIFs, screenshots and many other attachments to your texts and messages, a pretty nifty little addition. Also we get this new Van Gogh style wallpaper. This is how it looks in light mode and dark mode. Looks very artistic indeed. And also don't forget the Microsoft 365 integration which makes it super easy to edit and access your files. You need to sign in with your Microsoft account first. And now you can access your OneDrive files directly here in the file manager. You do need to move the files to OneDrive in order to open and edit it. However, it means it will be synchronized across platforms. Also, we get all the necessary tools to edit our files, which is always nice. Another really helpful update is regarding accessibility. For those having trouble using mouse, you can now use your keyboard keys to hover your mouse around and customize various settings according to your speed and preferences. Additionally, there's also a new option to enable bounce keys to ignore multiple key presses under a set time. Really helpful for those with conditions related to hands and fingers. And also if you have a broken key, then this can be helpful in that regard too. And if you're finally thinking about installing FireOS, then good thing is that FireOS has now extended support for chipsets like Intel Celeron and Pentium. You can check this chart to confirm if a processor is supported or not. Also, I'll have the full installation guide for single as well as dual boot in the description. So that was it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.